Welcome back to Friday Night Frenzy. Let's lace up our sticks and strap on our headgear for some boys lacrosse. It was senior night last night for East Long Meadow. Facing off against Amherst, 4-4 in the second quarter. It's number four, Shane Becker to Michael Monroe. He rips it from long range. Spartans take the lead. A minute later, Jake Robidoux starts his run, jukes a defender and bounces it home. He's gone. East Long Meadow up two now. Becker facilitating again. This time it's James Aiello cutting towards net. He's going to find that one all day long. Quick transition from Amherst. They get one back. Jamison Dion showing off his jukes. That's a running back at heart. He cashes one in. Michael Monroe putting the defense in a spin cycle. Takes it outside, cuts back in. A little hesitation, and that will put East Long Meadow back up by three. And Shane Becker, perhaps the best one you'll see all night. Behind the net, shovels one through contact. Ref throws the flag with authority. Doesn't matter. Spartans win one for the seniors, 16 to 9. Longmeadow girls lacrosse hosting Agawam on Thursday. First possession, Jillian Joseph fakes out the defense. That one turned away. She's able to get her own rebound. Waiting patiently. I'll take it myself. Won't be denied this time. First goal of the game goes to the Lancers. Alexandria LaFleur rushing towards net. That one also turned aside by Marissa LaRoe. Keeps it a one goal game. Joseph behind the net waits on a teammate. Sophia Cialo snaps it home. Less than two minutes in, already two zip. Siaglo weaving between defenders makes it two for her and three for her team. Ball bobbling around in the other zone. Brownies attacking. Finds the stick of Abigail Perry. She scores. Agawam's on the board. Pass from Riley Harrington to a cutting Maddie Sulik. Off the goalie and trickles in. Longmeadow comes out on top. 20 to 5. Pope Francis and Chicopee Comp comp up 4 to 3 in the first half when Caitlin Griffin has a free position shot. Goes right up the middle. We're even at four. Comp looking to respond. Alexandria Sullivan running down the field, but nice save by Savannah Westmoreland. Defense leading to offense. Caitlin Andrick scoops it off the turf, takes it left, right, zigging and zagging. Finds the back of the net. 5 4 Pope. Cards back at it. But Allison Wenzel shuts the door, makes the big save. Audrey Mason trying again, patiently waiting for a teammate. Now in the second half, she's got one, and Pope's got another goal. They're up by two. Off the whistle, Gracie Martineau is going to take her defender for a ride, cuts into the lead, and Drew Orzakowski passed to Natalie Fournier in the slot. Five hole, back and forth, but Pope holds on to win by one, nine to eight. The nine and one East Long Meadow Spartans visiting Belcher Town. Our coverage begins in the first half. Orioles down six nothing. Madison LePage scores, gets beat town on the board. Later in the half, Adelaide Jordan with a pass to Kennedy Marino, who gets the score. Spartans up 7-2. In Orioles territory, it's Anna Maccarini faking the pass, taking it in, putting it. East Long Meadow up 8-2. Belchertown trying to fight back. Sam Pacunas driving, getting the third goal of the night for the O's. Late in the half, Angelina Truolio will get the ball. She bounces it in for another Spartans goal. East Long Meadow wins 23-3. They improve to 10-1. Now across the field, Belchertown boys lacrosse hosting Northampton. Don't have to travel far to see this one. Nico St. George putting his head down, putting the hose on the board. Later in the quarter, Ryland Carrios with the ball behind the net, scoots around, shoots, and scores. O's up 2-1. Belchertown with the ball. Jeter Marks powering his way to the net and scores. They're up two. Northampton would answer back. Jack Sullivan to Minty Peterson. He gets on the board. Northampton down by one goal. Back in Blue Devil territory, St. George putting on the afterburners. And the Orioles are up by two. 4-2. Minty Peterson. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's at the buzzer. He rolls one in. His teammates loving it. Minty a little bit out of gas, but he makes it a 4-3 game going into the second quarter. However, Belchertown holds off the Minty Magic to win 13-5.